Hello dear friends and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a real-time journal with me. Um, I don't really know if you guys like this type of video, but I saw it with KK in studies. Like, uh, KK in notes, I think. Yeah, um, I saw this on her channel and I thought, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, I don't even watch it while I'm turning because I get <laughs> distracted so easily but uh, uh, I thought yeah <laughs> but I sometimes watch them during uh, choosing the pictures that I want to use in my next spread so <laughs> yeah uh, I will probably like get distracted a lot during this video <laughs> just because I I'm somehow like unable to talk and concentrate at the same time so <laughs> I excuse myself if I sometimes will just be quiet <laughs> I will uh, put some lo-fi over it so it's still uh, okay to listen to I hope also um, as many of you might know and as you can hear from my accent English is not my first language, so I am normally pretty fluent, but if I talk for a very long time, I often make mistakes, so I'm apologizing for that in advance. Okay, so uh, getting to the spread. Um, I recently started a new journal. It looks like this. It's a Midori dotted journal, I think, and uh, I want to make, uh, I don't know, just like starting a new bullet journal double-sided page. <laughs> I'm quite a fake because <laughs> I've already done a spread in here before I even like did that spread. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, but now I know how it is to work with and so on. And uh, as you can maybe see, my handwriting changed. That is my normal handwriting that I also use in school and so, or when I'm writing letters. And I only did the other one in my bullet journal because <laughs> somehow I'm unable to write in a straight line. <laughs> so I just thought, yeah, let's let's just put the letters up and down, up and down. <laughs> and yeah, but since this has like dotted lines, I don't have to do that anymore. So my style changed a bit this is just a spread for like Hyunjin and Felix because they're both so soft and cute and oh. fun <laughs> um, but back to this spread yeah um, these are all pictures I have since like a year <laughs> I started journaling almost a year ago <laughs> to be really really exact it was <laughs> Uh, the 23rd December um, my best friend at that time um, bought me a kind of bullet journal and uh, I really liked it I started um, like making prettier notes around that time and a bit sooner and when I look back they were so <laughs> ugly and I really didn't have a feeling for like colors I should use and it was a big mess and I used the uh, those stabilo highlighting pens like <laughs> it was just awful but uh, I somehow got the hang of it and yeah and these were like pictures I used in my was that March? Yeah, I think I it was March in my bullet journal where I like I used to uh, write in the dates and like just a weekly planner at the beginning of the year, but <laughs> I got too lazy and <laughs> gave up. Um, and these are just the pictures that I didn't use, so I thought they would be cute to use now. And they match this picture of Jin that I really like. At least a bit. <laughs> and I hope that this goes alright. They're a bit smaller than what I normally use. I mean, you can see from this spread that like my pictures are usually very huge. So this 
a bit strange to me to like change how I do it, but I hope it will turn out all right. I'm already ranting and haven't done anything really. <laughs> this is, that is just how this video is going to be, so I'm sorry in advance. Also, if you can hear it, I'm a bit sick. Like, I got a mini, mini cold. I'm not going to say that it is because I'm still wearing skirts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, probably it's because of that. And uh, uh, yesterday I was in the city with my mother. That was like really cool. Uh, we went to, I'm not even sure like if any of you know that city, but uh, it's called Lucerne and it's, it's really beautiful. It's near where I live, so we often go there. And uh, we went shopping there and just had a good time. We had to do some Christmas shopping and like shopping in general. <laughs> I bought two coats and uh, they're so fluffy. One is like white and looks like a sheep. And uh, the other one is a dark navy blue and it's, it's beautiful and it's the fluffiest thing I have ever touched. It's, it's great. And uh, what did I buy? Uh, I also bought um, some pens for a friend. We're doing a Wichtel in school. I think in English it's called Secret Santa or something like that where uh, you you uh, like I feel bad. I never pick. Uh, I'm sorry. Where you uh, pick As you know, a dumb name of like a member of your class, and then you have to buy them a present, a small one, and uh, it should be a secret. Uh, you can never reveal it or you can like tell the person hey it was me that gave you that and uh, my friend is also uh, kinda into like this whole stationary thing she's pretty new to it and she's not doing a bullet journal or anything but she gives her best to make her notes pretty and <laughs> it's honestly so cute uh, she really tries her best and uh, she for now just has tombow pens like these ones and uh, I personally prefer the Ecoline ones from the colors and like they're a bit thicker and a bit more difficult to use but the colors are better and I also think like it just comes out prettier with them, so I don't know. I gave her, or I still have to give her them, but uh, I bought a couple of those yesterday, so <laughs> I hope she will like them. <laughs> Other people like give their secret Santa pics, <laughs> I don't know how to call it. They give them uh, chocolate or just stuff like that and I haven't received mine yet but it's also like pretty far away still from Christmas so <laughs> uh, there's still a lot of time I'm really excited to to like find out who my secret Santa is because we also did it with the boys and I think it will show if the boys like try to give me something <laughs> I don't think they can like choose what to give very good <laughs> maybe like my one friend that's close with some boys will help them <laughs> or maybe I have one of the girls in my class I recently got a bit closer with my class like I'm not <laughs> very social I'm pretty awful at all this making friends stuff oh by the way currently i'm choosing uh like memo sheets that i want to put in this picture 
and uh, now I'm going through the container of the memo sheets that my pen pals sent me. Uh, back to the to the question. Or, um, I'm pretty bad at socializing. <laughs> I used to like never talk to my class. That that was how awful it was. I was really just fixed on my ex best friend and uh, she changed class this year and we also don't really have contact anymore and since then because well i couldn't stay with her anymore from then on uh, i try to be <laughs> a little more social and uh, it's going okay i think <laughs> i'm giving my best I have a really, really, like everyone in my class is actually really nice. I, I can't believe that I've like stayed away from them for so long for literally no reason because they're all really nice and uh, funny and it's really cool to just spend time with them. And uh, one girl is like really, really nice. She's uh, literally an angel. <laughs> uh, just, I appreciate it so much that she also she tries to like get me a bit closer to the other people in my class, and like she's just so nice and spends time with me. And I'm like so so thankful for that. Like, yeah, um, and. Yeah, I think it, in this class, I will say for two and a half more years, then I'll be done with school. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the other class, like I'm currently in Kantonsschule. That's like uh, something like high school, I think, or something. It takes six years, <laughs> so quite a lot of time. And quick break, I'm going to check through the washi samples that my pen pal sent me. But uh, yeah, six years until I'm 18, I think. And after that, I can go to university and study something. I'm not sure yet what I want to study, like uh, recently I've taken up an interest in uh, neuro, neuro, neurobiology, like uh, with the brain and nerve system and stuff like that. I find that really fascinating, especially when you combine it with like psychology, where you can like find out why the people have psychosis and so on and what part in their brain does that stuff it's i find it really really interesting to like watch stuff about that and so on and uh, the other thing i would study is uh english just because like i'm kind of okay at english so <laughs> Studying it wouldn't be the worst. And uh, teachers here in Switzerland are paid really well, especially the ones at that Kantonsschule that I'm going to. So maybe I will do that. But I'm not sure yet. I'm, uh, but I have so many years still to like decide. <laughs> I'm just kind of scared that somehow it will just catch up and like suddenly i have to decide and i'm like i'm not ready <laughs> but uh, yeah at least i have something in mind most of my uh, classmates don't even know in which direction they want to go so at least that now okay i completely neglected the questions till now and basically did nothing in my bullet journal um I have a couple of questions that people on Instagram asked me, so I will just answer those. Uh, one is, 
when did she start drawing? Oh, I talked about that already a bit, yeah. Uh, last Decem December, as I said, and yeah. Um, the K-pop bullet journal that you often see on my Instagram, I started that in February, I think, and I finished it recently, so. Uh, yeah, it, it's already like almost a year has passed and uh, time flies by so fast and I'm so shook and uh, oh my parents are awake <laughs> I have to uh, make the videos later in the day now because uh, in Switzerland the sun sets and goes up very late like the sun sets usually at 5 p.m. and it goes up at around 9 <laughs> so yeah it's not I ideal to like make videos <laughs> but yeah I will have to deal with it and uh, it, every time I go to school it's like dark and when I come home it's still dark and, <sighs> but yeah I I usually I really like winter. I don't know why. It's just I don't I don't know. I just think it's a beautiful season and it's pretty peaceful, even though it's so cold. <laughs> and uh, most of the time, especially around Christmas, people are just a lot more joyful and happy. I think. Like I don't. You often hear about the Christmas stress and stuff like that, but I'm always just very happy around Christmas and like I'm really in the Christmas spirit and I will tr try to vlog uh, the last day before Christmas holidays in our school. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at this picture of Kangmin. Oh. <laughs> um, I will try to vlog that, but I can't guarantee, but if I do vlog, you will probably see my face again. <laughs> and uh, with a Christmas hair decoration on my head, I uh, bought uh, yesterday. That was I bought yesterday a reindeer hair pin or <laughs> what it's called. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Now I will look like a reindeer, <laughs> yay! <laughs> um, okay, now I have to put the things down. Oh, holy, I hope I hope that goes well. <laughs> it's a mess till now, so yeah. It will be okay, yeah. That's cute, but is it too pink? <sighs> this is always the part that takes me the longest like where I have to put everything out and decide if it matches or not and how I want to lay it down I think that's that way for most journalers except for those that use like very little pictures I, <laughs> I would never be able to do that <laughs> I'm like a person I use so many pictures it's it's like so but at least i'm not the only one like other accounts also use quite a lot of pictures so i don't feel so alone but uh my friend lily like uh uni bucho no she changed her name um i feel so bad that i don't even know her Instagram name. I mean, wait, <laughs> Lily, please don't be angry. Um, her name is Minty Song. Yeah, Minty Song. Um, she uses very little pictures. Her spreads are so minimalistic and pretty, and I'm always like here with my sixteen thousand pictures, <laughs> and I'm asking myself like. Am I not able to make pretty spreads without those pictures? Or, <laughs> but she does it so well. Oh. 
but uh, oh, I got a question like who my bullet journal inspirations and uh, favorite bullet journaling Instagram accounts are. And uh, wait, I'm going to see like I have most people that I really like saved in my saved category. I have the bullet journal category there, like those collections, and uh, I sometimes put pictures in there of like people that inspire me or like spreads I like and that I can like, if I like the way someone wrote something, if I can learn from that and like also use that writing. And uh, I will just like read the names out loud. Um, one is Grey Men, but with a V instead of a Y. Uh, I really liked her last spread about Sokchin's birthday. The way she wrote happy birthday, it was so pretty. And uh, then of course Byansol. Byansol? <laughs> ah, I don't know. <laughs> My Korean is still so lacking that like everything I read sounds weird. <laughs> but uh, then Buchi Karn, she has really cute spreads. I would say she's like my favorite underrated uh, bullet journal account. Like hers are really creative and I feel like she deserves so many more followers. Then Mihan Journal, also really really cute spreads. Um, dreamy, <laughs> that's so cute. She also has great spreads. I really, really, really like her calligraphy. Like her style is so good. Then um, P R K Sentas. Um, she has such beautiful spreads, and her feet is so amazing. And uh, then. Um, Okay, Beck. Beck. <laughs> I will give up. <laughs> um, Young Wink. Um, Butchy Study. Alpaca Journaling. Um, of course, Lily, aka Minty Song. <laughs> Do I now have it right? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and then I will just read two more. Yeah, the people, like, it just repeats itself. Um, soft lay with the V between the T and the F. And <laughs> I hope you know who she is. <laughs> and of course, KK, what? K, K key notes. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Like, I will feel so bad if she, like, texts me, yeah, um, you pronounced my name wrong, like, 16 times. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Please, please don't be mad. <laughs> okay, time to lay down correctly. Um, it's so embarrassing to talk while my parents are, like, outside. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I will get through it. Yeah, <laughs> I hope. Um, another question. Uh, how did you get into K-pop and how long have you stand BTS? Um, I got into K-pop. In 2015, um, that was when I. Please don't judge me, but I used to write like Wattpad stories, and uh, I once asked someone, uh, like I asked every re reader what their favorite song was, and most of it was American, like the music <laughs> I used to listen to at that time. But someone said, no more dream by BTS. And 
of course I checked it out and uh, I was disturbed to say the least <laughs> I was really really kind of disturbed like the envy is kind of strange but uh, I also kind of liked it like the song was pretty good and uh, if you looked over the fact that they had like really strong eyeliner on <laughs> it was really good so uh, a bit later i decided to like check out their other stuff and so on and i stumbled upon a kind of video that i think it was the 20 most handsome k-pop idols uh, male edition and I was like, K-pop, isn't that what BTS counts as? So I checked it out and uh, I really liked it. Like uh, every group that was named, I listened to a couple of their songs, like those that YouTube recommended me first and the ones I liked, I downloaded and uh, I still have <laughs> every song in the order that I listen to it <laughs> in my playlist and uh, now there's just a lot of... Uh, it's surprising but like I used to listen to Block B as one of my first groups and I still haven't gotten around to like really getting to know the members and learning their names and that's like so sad because i really love block b's music like music like it's so good they have so many good songs same goes for btob and uh, winner i didn't like every day but the other songs are good and uh, then just some time passed, I learned all of BTS names and uh, later I decided to stand more groups. Uh, like I think all of my first groups were like BTS, GOT7, EXO, BIG BANG, NCT DREAM. <laughs> NCT DREAM doesn't fit into that like order that I went, but uh, I wanted to stand NCT, so I started with Dreamies because I really like chewing gum for some reason. I still really like it, even though so many people hate it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's like the story how I began spanning different kinds of groups. And uh, it took a long time till I really got into girl groups. Now I would even say that I like girl groups more than boy groups for some part like I listen to more girl groups than I listen to boy groups but uh, yeah and the first girl group I ever stand like I listened to twice songs at that time also Miss A and AOA but I didn't learn their names oh the sun is coming through I didn't um, learn their names or something like that. <laughs> like this is how easily I get distracted. Oh, where was I? My mother came in. I really don't know where. It ah, yeah. <laughs> um, my first girl group I really stand and like learned their names was uh, Blackpink and. Uh, I learned their names through a weekly idol show and since then I began standing more girl groups and like yeah it, it was a great decision <laughs> I really really like girl groups my favorite girl groups are still Luna and Oh My Girl and From Miss Nine it also took me like long time to like the cute cute songs too and now they're my favorite like <laughs> i can't go a day without listening to hi hi <laughs> that's kind of creepy but okay <laughs> and
and uh, yeah it's just for everyone that's like still pretty new to k-pop and doesn't really know if they should try standing girl groups too i would definitely um advise you to try it like it's just i even like the cute concepts because that's just so cute how can you not like this <laughs> and uh, yeah anyways <laughs> after drifting off again <laughs> um next question is uh have you ever been to a k-pop concert um the answer is yes since <laughs> this year um as a present to my birthday um my mom and i went to uh, the music bank in berlin concert like i don't think i will be able to go to a concert of like k-pop concert soon because they don't come to switzerland and it's hella expensive going to germany <laughs> so i don't think i will be able to visit another one at least in the next couple of months but uh yeah i was at music bank and it was amazing like just thinking back at it it was oh, it was so cool it was really a great experience that i would advise like everyone to uh like i would advise <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what I meant with like my broken English. But uh, I would advise everyone to try it sometimes. It's just, it's so amazing. And uh, at the Music Bank concert was um, EXO, Stray Kids, 101. Oh, 101 had an amazing stage present present same goes for straight kids like they're both rather rookie groups but i think they did it the best even and uh g idol was also there and oh temin temin was oh my temin was the sun temin was like oh, i've never seen a person smile so brightly like each time he stopped performing he smiled and that smile was just breathtaking it was really <laughs> amazing like that was all my mother and i talked about as soon as the concert ended <laughs> so i think that tells you how beautiful it was <laughs> and uh, yeah as i said chi idol uh they performed maze han and latata and uh, Chun Somi was there. Oh, <laughs> there's me being a fangirl and all, but I love Chun Somi. Like, she's so precious and pretty and just oh, amazing. <laughs> and uh, she also performed some songs Kashina and Roller Coaster. Oh, she looked amazing. And Park Bokum. Uh, I didn't know Park Bukum that well because uh, his dramas are too sad for my taste. <laughs> like the ones I've checked out are like really depressing and I hate sad dramas. I, I'm a person that really dislikes like sad endings and stuff like that. So uh, I didn't know him that well till then. But as soon as he smiled, like the, the whole world just lit up, like, ah, his smile. <laughs> it was, it was beautiful. <laughs> I loved it, like, ah, and uh, yeah, it was really a great experience. And I hope I can like experience it soon again. And yeah. The next question is bullet journal tips. Like, do you have any bullet journal tips or like how to start one? I definitely want to make an in-depth video about that. But um, the thing 
things I can tell you that I think are really important. I'm going to use this combination. Okay. Um, are I think my spreads wouldn't look half as pretty as they did. Like <laughs> they already do, but um, if I would use uh, pictures that do not match with each other, I think it would look like a total mess. So I think having matching pictures is really important. So yeah, if you ever why is it why is it not working? Oh. I will give this to my father to repair. But uh, like I said, uh, having matching pictures is way more important than you think. Uh, there are some people that can pull it off really well without like pictures that all fit into one aesthetic. But I personally find that difficult and I think if you really do it like that it takes some practice so uh, I think having really matching pictures already does a lot for the spread and then also choosing like matching pens also a uh, kind of mastering calligraphy can do wonders <laughs> like I'm still not very good at calligraphy but I've been doing it for a year now and uh, I think it gets easier with time but yeah it just takes a while <laughs> and uh, yeah currently deciding which color combination I should do um, I think I will write the oh i can i don't even know what i'm going to write as the title mm, maybe a new start that's so cheesy but like uh, starting fresh no <laughs> ah, normally it's easy choosing which title i want to do, but now um, new k-pop channel no it's also so boring <laughs> like the phoenix from the ash <laughs> no it's also so uh, it's difficult I think I'm just going to do a fresh start or a new start yeah let's go with the boring one um first i have to i mostly like build up my titles with different colors and different like fonts so uh new suddenly getting really dark because the weather is like so bad I hope you guys can still see it well as for like calligraphy tips like <laughs> The only thing I can say is like practice, practice, practice. Like I needed so much practice before I even got to this point and I'm still nowhere near perfect and I still sometimes do like calligraphy that looks a bit weird. So it just takes practice to find out uh, how letters look good like in your eye and uh, 
how it's the easiest to do it and yeah but when you master it like some of the good bullet journaling accounts on instagram it's really really pretty and it can make everything look so much better but i would say if you're not really comfortable with your calligraphy like i'm doing it right now then i would adv advise you to use like a font like that in your bullet journal so like this here just it's easier and uh, for like the people that can't do calligraphy well yet i would recommend that i don't know oh that's good team oh, i'm kind of sick at the moment so drinking tea isn't essential i also can't like skip school because we have so much stuff to do uh, they put two two lesson exams on like one afternoon <laughs> normally uh, the principal's office usually tells the teacher that we should just have one exam a day but uh, yeah <laughs> it didn't go well that time so I will have to study a lot next week and but soon Christmas is coming Santa Claus is coming to town in Switzerland we don't even uh, like have Santa like in America I think uh, we have uh, Christkind I think that's rather having something to do with <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> but uh, yeah we celebrate like our family celebrates christmas three times and uh, one of them is on the 23rd one of them is on the 24th and one of them is on the 25th and uh, yeah i'm i'm kind of excited for that also I don't have presents yet, like every year. <laughs> I'm so bad at like choosing presents for people that I normally just give up. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of hopeless. I have to do a lot of presents this year. And I still don't know what to give my cousin. And I can't give her nothing again. <laughs> Uh, I thought because last year we didn't give it, I just noticed I don't like the color like the blue color with the theme so I'm switching to another theme um, but uh, my cousin and I didn't give each other something for Christmas last year so I thought <laughs> we would just not give each other anything at all for our birthday too because my birthday is on the 20th of September and hers is on the 21st first so uh, we often celebrate with each other but uh, I felt so bad she bought me so much stuff and I was just like there looking at that stuff and was like but I didn't get you anything <laughs> I felt awful. I felt really, really bad. Like, I'm still so mad at myself. So, now I have to get something really cool for her. But it's also kind of difficult because she practically has everything. And I'm not sure what I should give her then. But please pray for me. Favorite K-pop shipping? Um, 
I don't really ship a lot of people anymore. Like I used to be a huge fan of shipping and like do it a lot, but uh, I don't do it that much anymore. But there's always a but. Um, Hyunjin, Changbin, and Felix from Stray Kids. That shit is just too cute. Like <laughs> they're like so cute with each other, and it honestly melts my heart. And I love like just watching them interact because they're so nice to each other and like soft and. <sighs> I uh, wish I had a relationship with like my friends like that, but, mm. but it's, that shit is just too cute, like, and uh, like shit things from girl groups, I don't really know many girl group shit things, that's kind of sad, I wish I knew more, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really don't know many. Uh, which could be good shipping in Luna Chuvis is really cute like Chu and uh, Beef and uh, yeah <laughs> I don't know I, I have to like catch up with that stuff be like a grandpa now I can't find my pen um. Oh, wait a second. I think I know where my pen is. Yes, found it. Oh, oh it was. It was still in my bag and I had to get it. But now I'm back. Okay, but uh, where was I? Yeah, feeling like a grandma. I'm a grandma in general. <laughs> like, it's so sad. I sleep at like 9 p.m. But that is because I wake up at like 4 or 5 a.m. So I have to balance that out. But, uh, I mean, as you can maybe see, I collect porcelain <laughs> and uh, I always complain when it's too loud <laughs> and honestly, I'm such a grandma, it's so sad. I try to keep up with the youth, but <laughs> K-pop has like disconnected me so much from like trends and stuff like that that I have no idea anymore and I literally have to ask people sometimes Wait, what's that? I had to ask people what the dab was. <laughs> that was so sad. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's what I mean with grandma. <laughs> so, I don't even think I'm the mom of the group. I'm like the grandma and the baby. <laughs> because somehow I'm the baby too. I need a lot of affection. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going to, yeah going to do it like that okay I'm nervous I'm always really nervous when I start to like make my titles that I practice onto the real paper because everything could go wrong <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm a really easily panicked person so yeah. Um, next question is favorite ice cream flavor. That's a nice question. <laughs> um, I really, really like uh, chocolate chip, so mint chocolate chip and tiramisu. These are like the best ice cream flavors fight me i really really like those so uh i always choose those when i'm like somewhere where you can get fresh ice cream and uh, that sadly never really happens 
because uh, Switzerland is, as you might know, not the warmest country. <laughs> so people barely make efforts to have like ice cream stands or something like that. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I mostly just eat that when I'm on holidays. I'm also going to uh, have a language exchange program this summer. Like uh, our school uh, makes us spend at least three weeks either in another country or uh, in a kind of uh, like internship. And uh, because I'm more the language type of person, then like internship is best better for like uh, students with uh, economy as their major. So because I'm an art major, I just will choose to go to England. I wanted to go to Ireland initially, but uh, the exchange program, we are... I am so sorry. <laughs> it deleted so much stuff that I did and uh, like half an hour of just talking and like doing that stuff is now gone. But uh, uh, I will just continue now. I originally didn't want to uh, like talk while I write the text, but uh, I feel bad now that like the video will be kind of short if I don't do that. So I will just keep talking. I hope that it will work. <laughs> ah, I'm scared. Um, okay. I don't even really know what to write about. I'm kind of like, I'm at a loss of words. I'm so confused. Um, okay. Three houses. Um, how should I even start this? Okay, I can't talk while doing this, so <laughs> I'm so sorry that the video is falling out rather short. I'm so devastated that it just deleted the rest of the video and it will probably be pretty short now. I'm so, so sorry about that. Uh, I promise that I will make another bullet journal with me sometime soon. So that, like, <laughs> you can have a real and good book journal with me, real time with talking, instead of me babbling and uh, deleting half of the video. Ah, I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, you will probably see this finished spread on my Instagram soon. So. Stay tuned for that and again I'm so sorry, oh, I feel so bad, I feel like this will be like my first video I've ever made, oh, I still hope like I could, I don't know, talk to you well and show you guys some things and yeah, have a very very nice day and yeah, I will see you next week. Love each other.